Very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the Houston Texans. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Watson on first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Sean Lee in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. From the gun, here's Watson. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Play action for Miller. Now Watson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. 46. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here's Prescott. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. Second down, Prescott again. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at about the 32. After the interception, here's Watson. On a crossing route, he hits Demarius Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. carry for Lamar Miller. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. That catch good for five. It's third down. Here's Watson. Over the middle, that's caught by QT. 
And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. QT, Charles, he didn't make his debut this year until week four. Busted out with 11 catches in that win over Indianapolis. And now you got Will Fuller done for the year with a knee injury. He's a big part of this offense. He certainly is because he's quickly got to become one of those go-to guys for Deshaun Watson and a guy that he can get the ball to pretty fast because Will Fuller provided a lot of speed and flash and could work inside and outside. QT's going to work out of the slot mainly, get it to him, and let him go. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tavon Austin, 63 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play, and just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well, because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now a 7-0 game. now to kick this one away and off it goes this will be fielded on the back line of the end zone now the Texans offense they head back out to do battle here Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 25 yard line A shotgun snap for Watson, eluding the pressure right. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That catch good for five. It's third down. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Out of the gun, Watson. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one third down they gave him the underneath stuff you got to go up and make the tackle right away and how about this one now in their own territory a gutsy call they're going to go for this on fourth and a yard now it's Watson and he'll find QT on the right side complete and able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40 27 yards a big play there on fourth Watson now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. Buying time to his left. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A first down carry now for Miller. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. And they ran out of it. That's and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Sean Lee in there to get him 
his second sack now of the afternoon. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Here's Watson. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly Don't right. Get, third down, Don't you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Watson sliding out of the pocket. And this is caught. Demarius Thomas. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. And he's in. It's a Houston Texans touchdown. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. First and 10, Prescott. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 19 yards that time for number 19. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, Bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Prescott on first down. Escaping the pressure right. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are in for six. Man, he just ran a terrific route. Extremely hard to defend when it's run that precisely and the ball's delivered that accurately. Now the extra point. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to seven. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. 
And now out comes Houston. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They go play action here on first down. Going for the deep ball. They've got his man complete. 20, 10, touchdown, Houston. Kiki QT, 77 yards. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment for the guys covering, take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by them. And once he's by them, there's no catching them. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Prescott looks to throw on first. He hits Beasley right side. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Let's go. Let's finish now. Second down, Prescott. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A first down throw for Prescott. Flushed out right. His throw incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Well, that incompletion has me thinking. The Phillip Rivers last week, I know you that saw this. You were crazy. working. But he only threw one of those that we just saw. One incompletion the entire game. His first 25 passes were complete. It was so much fun because I actually saw a highlight, you know, cut up. to put all of them together, one after the other. 25 straight. Mark Brunell had the record previously, 22 straight for Washington in 2006. He goes 28 of 29. And I don't know about you, but that... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. J.J. Watt able to drop him for a loss of a couple. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. To throw is Prescott. He's going to find his man. That's Tavon Austin. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Jeff Swain, 34 yards. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. Point after here coming up. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now 
out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a first down throw. Watson flush to his right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Play action from Miller. Now Watson. He'll buy some time right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. The Texans on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and a mile. From the gun, here's Watson. Being chased out left. Now he's going to throw deep into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. Sure, maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? The Cowboys will get the football first here and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. The give is to Calvary. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Menardrick McKinney there to make the stop. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Prescott now on second down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Now 
They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Prescott. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. On fourth, they do snap it to Prescott. He finds his man. It's Austin. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and ten all the way down at the 35. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Second down throw for Prescott. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. With that incompletion, need to pass along the note about the Madden Classic, where you can watch some of the best Madden players battle it out for their share of 165 grand. It's live on Twitch. Charles starts 1 Eastern, 10 Pacific, December 6th through the 8th. I know you'll be tuned in. Thank you for letting me know the time and the dates. I'm going to mark that down. I will be ready to go because they go at it now. I mean, those battles, those are pretty strong, and I love the imagination that you see and how they play because they don't think like conventional football. They know how to take advantage of any weaknesses of their opponent. And the best part, $165,000 on the line. You and I better hone up our game. Yeah, some people looking for some early holiday gifts there in the Madden Classic. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. The Texans on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is third and seven. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. They're going for it. It's Watson. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Sean Lee able to disrupt yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Sweat, sweat, 
following the interception. Here's Prescott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And it's no good. Oh, he misses the extra point, and our score stays right where it is. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. And now out comes Houston. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that will loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Here's Watson. And a catch made by Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Watson now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Set, green. Off of play action, it's Watson. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Kiki QT, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans draw a bit closer. And, partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. Cooper on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Now Prescott. Oh, he's got him wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. Prescott now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. This is Elliott. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. It's Kareem Jackson making the play defensively. 
offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Prescott to throw it, escaping the pressure right. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. They'll run with Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Aaron Colvin there to make the tackle. Off the corner, where'd he come from? Well, I, guess, I mean, I guess he came off the corner, but really nice play. I like when you're able to pose a question and answer it at the same time. That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, we're thinking about those guys covering pass catchers. In this case, he was a big factor in a run game. No game. Prescott now steps away to his left. And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage, so that's a sack. He lost four there, and it's third down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Forced out to his left. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 24. After the interception, here's Watson. Caught left side, Hopkins. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Heady, heady, heady on that one, huh? Getting out of bounds before the two-minute warning. They get an extra timeout, extra opportunity to move the ball downfield. Very smart football. On first and 10, Watson flushed out right. Room to run past midfield. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. On the right side, this is Miller. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. He'll look to throw. Griffin's got it, middle of the field. And he gets it down to the 32. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Underneath from Miller. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. Watson and the offense going to come up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. Back to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. He's back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. And a great game comes down to this. Time for one play, and they've got to get it in the end zone. And I want every cover guy I've got in the game on defense, every extra defensive back who can make a play on the football, so whether it's nickel, dime, quarter, whatever you want to call it, I want five, six, seven guys back there. Watson now to throw, escaping the pressure right. And this is going to be incomplete. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory.